Hello, I'm Sylvain Bees. I will explain to you how to explore the iliopsoas muscle in ultrasound. The useful anatomy of iliopsoas muscle is classically described as follows. The psoas muscle originates from the lateral sides of the discal vertebral complexes and transverses processes T12L5. The muscle bundles of the psoas are directed downwards and ended up in consistent psoas major tendon. This tendon passes under the inguinal ligament in front of the superior pubic ramus and the coxofemoral joint and inserts onto the lesser trochanter. The most medial fibers of the iliacus muscle ended up in an accessory tendon that merged with the psoas major tendon to build up the robust iliopsoas main tendon inserted at the lesser trochanter. The most lateral fibers of the iliacus muscle originates from the iliac fossa and iliac crest ended up without any tendon onto the anterior side of the lesser trochanter and the subtrochanteric region. Next, ilio infratrochanteric muscle overlying the iliacus muscle on its anterolateral lateral surface reach the anterior aspect of the lesser trochanter and the infratrochanteric area without any tendon. Now we are going to describe two main anatomical planes, A and B, related to the useful ultrasound planes detailed later. Plane A. It's an axial oblique plane above the level of the anterior inferior iliac spine. The psoas major tendon appears as a deep ovoid structure lying against the superior pubic ramus. Its own muscular bundles are located medially under the femoral vascular pedicle. The psoas major tendon is covered by the medial and lateral fibers of the iliacus separated by the intramuscular fascia of the iliacus muscle. Arrows. At this level, the iliofranchocanteric muscle is not visible. Plane B. It's an axial plane at the level of the coxofemoral joint, below the plane A. The psoas major tendon is resting over the acetabular rim. The medial and lateral fibers of the iliacus are separated by the intramuscular fascia of the iliacus muscles. Arrows which shows as a deep lateral thickening corresponding to the accessory tendon. The ilio muscle is now visible on the lateral side of the LFI. Sartorius and rectus femoris muscles are laterally identified. Four ultrasound plans are necessary to explore myotendinous junction and major tendon of the iliopsoas muscle. First, two axial plans. The patient is lying prone with a neutral hip position and the iliopsoas muscular tendinous junction is scanned at the level of the groin using two planes, A and B, widely described as follow. The first one, plane A, consists of a panoramic axial oblique view above the level of the anterior inferior iliac spine. At this level, the iliopsoas muscle is organized in a multi-layered oblique fashion and femoral vessels are located on the medial side. The psoas major tendon appears as a thick and ovoid echoic structure resting on the bony cortical surface of the superior pubic ramus and its own residual Muscular fibers are located medially under the superficial femoral vascular pedicle. The psoas major tendon is surrounded by the medial iliac fibers and the lateral iliac muscle above, separated from each other by a thin intramuscular fascia that is incomplete posteriorly. At this level, the ilio muscle is not visible. Un deuxième plan de coupe. The second plane B, located below the plane A, consists of a panoramic axial view at the level of the coxofemoral joint. The psoas major tendon is seen against the acetabular rim, separated from one another by the virtual iliopsoas bursa. Medial and lateral fibers of the iliacus 
are separated by the intramuscular fascia of the iliacus, which shows a thickening of its deeper edge corresponding to the birth of the accessory tendon. Note that the two medial and lateral bundles of the iliacus communicate in their deeper portion. The ilioinfratracanteric muscle is now identified on the lateral side of the LFI as a grossly triangular bundle. Sartorius and rectus femoris muscles are also laterally visible. Next, two main sagittal planes are also useful to explore iliopsoas muscle. A sagittal oblique view in front of the hip allows to display the anterior aspect of the coxofemoral joint and the psoas muscular tendinous junction. The psoas major tendon appears as a longitudinal, hypoechoic and fibrillar structure lying on the bony cortical acetabular rim above the anterior labrum an articular recess. The psoas major tendon is covered by the medial and lateral fibers of the iliacus, separated by the intramuscular fascia of the iliacus muscle. This is the main side of traumatic iliopsoas muscle injuries. Next, this sagittal view allows to explore the labrum, the bony cortical shape of the femoral head and to looking for liquid in the anterior articular recess related to anthropathy. La tête fémorale et le recessus antérieur articulaire afin de rechercher un signe d'arthropathie. An additional sagittal plane carried out with Faber maneuver, acronym of flexion, abduction, external rotation, consisting of placing the foot of the leg under study on the opposite knee. This maneuver permits a complete longitudinal view of the distal iliopsoas tendon up to its insertion on the lesser trochanter. Iliopsoas muscular tendinous injuries are usually seen in athletes due to trauma, particularly hip flexion injuries. IMI involve muscular tendinous junction of the medial fibers of the iliacus with the intramuscular fascia, orange arrowheads, which becomes the accessory tendon below. In this example, both sagittal and actual ultrasound views show a focal distal disinsertion of the myotendinous junction of MFI characterized by hematic collection, white arrow. With flexion abduction external rotation of hip, psoas main tendon rolls laterally and interiorly over medial fibers of the iliacus, trapping it between tendon and superior pubic ramus. As hip is progressively brought back to neutral position, psoas main tendon and trapped component of the medial fibers of the iliacus follow progressively reverse path medially and posteriorly for PMT and laterally for MFI. Suddenly, medial fibers of the iliacus are released laterally, allowing abrupt return of the PMT against superior pubic ramus, producing audible snap. PMT is now located anterior to superior pubic ramus and posterior to hypoechoic MFI. Let's see the dynamic video of the snapping iliopsoas tendon. Thank you.